Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. How are you doing tonight? Hope you like the design I chose for my tunnel. I think it looks pretty pleasing. Anyway, there's been some updates on the other side at the distant shore. I made an elevator to the surface using uh, these elevator tracks. They're actually pretty simple to make, honestly. A lot less time consuming than these damn high speed rails. <laughs> And we're here. I love how fast that journey is. I decided to take off the two-cart system because it happened that, due to distance, the cart would enter an unloaded chunk and stop in the middle of the track, causing me to crash and explode. Yeah, not very pleasant. I also have been exploring this mineshaft system, and it is huge. We'll get to that later, though. As you see, I've marked out a couple spawners and a chasm. As here is the elevator. Simply hop in, push the button, and up we go. Very rapid transit, which I enjoy quite a bit. And there is another car down here. It's currently going down. That way, if I actually set my spawn over here or something and I die down there, I have a way to get back down. A lot faster than just going down the ladder. Which you can use these as a ladder. However, it is slow. But enough about that. Let's get my flying ring back on. Scoop, because I saw a beehive in the distance. And my boots. And up we go, and I th I found polar bears. Get my sword out of the way just in case I want to fight. Hey, Mr. Polar Bear. And... Wintery Princess and Wintery Drone. Kind of cool. Now, one thing I found interesting is how... There's a jungle right here kind of mirroring the shore on the other side having a jungle nearby. I haven't explored at all though, so that's what we're kind of doing right now, taking a look around. And who knows, I might find more beehives. I did find it kind of interesting finding the beehive in the ground. Who knows, maybe my tunneler actually broke some beehives earlier. And I never would have known about it because well, I didn't have a scoop. So it wouldn't have gotten the bees. However, if there was a deployer with a scoop, I think that would have gotten me bees. Ooh, ocelots! Ooh, I should get some. Maybe another time. Random creeper hanging out near a volcano. Exploring while flying. It's kind of dropping my frame rate a bit. So, we're just going to go on foot for a bit. Not finding much of anything interesting. I mean, there's great wood trees, there's silver wood. Is this another ocean? You gotta be kidding me. All that boring, and I get to a very thin bit of land with ocean on the other side. Well, it's land at least. And, more importantly, it's land with bees. But, makes me curious. I, is there going to be more ocean down this way? 
because if it is, I am on a peninsula at best. If not, then I'm on a very thin land bridge. For those who don't know what a peninsula is, well, look at my mini-map right now. This is basically a peninsula. Although, there's more land out there. Wow, seagulls. You know, I, I just realized I've never actually been on a beach above ground. What's that? It's a very odd hole right in the side of this bit of sand. <laughs> okay. That's kind of weird. Hmm. So, maybe it's not an ocean. Maybe it's just a really big sea. Ooh, another beehive. Oh, my God, leg. And I got a modest princess. Hi, snakes. Hmm. Okay, so it's possible this is an ocean. It's also possible it's just a really large body of water. And it's looking to be more like a body of water as I go around. Yeah, weird loading area. Pause for a moment so that the chunks can load. Take in the sights. Listen to the sound. Long enough. Free sugarcane. Another snow beehive. More wintry princess. I think the rest are hopping into my bag. Okay, I'm getting a lot more leg than I want. It's not very good for exploring. Ooh, what's this beehive? This gives me... Meadows. Well, it is on the very edge of a forest. Not exactly a meadow. Those definitely went to my bag. Uh, let's see, modest drone, marbled princess, and marbled drone. There's another one. And more marbled. So I have no idea what most of this does. I gotta drop a silver. Ooh. Random obelisk. That's good. I've actually been needing to find another one of these. So I think I have crystals on me. Yep. I have just enough fiery. And down we go. Let's see. Plenty of Eldritch stuff here, so hopefully I can finish off my Eldritch research. Uh, let's throw these bees in this bag. Bees in a bag. Ooh, there we go. Repository's best kind of thing you can have. I don't know why I didn't control shift click it all in.
But... Hmm, dolphins. Random chicken. It's going to be nightfall, so I'm going to have to get back to base. I do want to find a beehive in the jungle, though. See what they give you. If anything at all. I don't even know if you can find them here. Well, I'll search for one later. And I have to say, I believe I am done with Railcraft for now. Alright, it's very resource heavy and takes a lot of time. Ooh, there we go. Beehive. It better not be another marbled one. Yep, it was another marbled. Darn it. Anyway, taking a break from... Oh, is that where you find them in the jungle? Yep, tropical. Nice. Okay, so we have a huge sample of bees. I gotta get, stop getting distracted. What I'm just saying was... Railcraft, very resource heavy. Takes a lot of time to actually do. Oh, I'm out of... Scoop. Resource heavy, a lot of time to do. And ultimately isn't going to be helping me out that much right now. However, it is very useful, as I've made clear, I hope, with the elevators and the high-speed rail. Now, I have interdiction torches hidden behind the wall, and it seems to be doing a good job of keeping away mobs. However, I've noticed that uh, thomic slime, not affected by it. And neither are baby slimes, it seems. They just kind of hop around and it doesn't seem to push them away. So there may eventually be problems with mobs, considering I probably didn't get this as bright as it could be. Speaking of... <sighs> spider... Why are you in my minecart? Okay, just shove you on here. Just stay on the track. Yeah, it's a good thing I have a couple tracks left. <sighs> so, lighting, I did not get optimized, obviously. However, it seems to be very infrequent the amount of times mobs will show up. So is it something I can live with? Maybe. We'll have to see later. I'm going to have to go for a moment. I have some prior engagements in real life. I'll be back in a while, and then we'll start looking at the next thing to do. See you in a moment. And I'm back. For those who who are really curious as to what my prior engagement was, it was sleep. I was tired. Anyway, I wandered away for a moment to test out a new security system for the subway. And I'm going to show you what it does. This does mean that we're going to switch over to cheat mode for just a moment because I'm not going to wait for a mob to spawn. And we're going to go ahead and grab some slime. And 
and to make sure that I do not get any items from the slime, I'm going to turn my ring off so that way nothing goes in the bag. And here we are. This particular rune is going to keep the tracks clear and kill enemies. And... Okay, that's why I'm stuck in the wall. Alright, see how that works? Slimes... The slimes are getting sucked up to that rune, making sure the track is completely clear, and the rune is killing them. <laughs> it does look pretty awesome. And what's great about this is that it'll even work on the Thomic slimes. The way I have it set up, however, does kind of leave it so that some mobs are going to not take any damage. That's perfectly fine, honestly. Because the most important thing is that the tracks remain clear. And since they're sucked up to the ceiling and stuck there, I can come zip it along right underneath them no explosions. <laughs> ah, this looks funny as hell. <laughs> ah, I love this. I need to get you out of here. That works. <laughs> of course, I don't have these everywhere yet. I only have them... Oh. Well, I got a little bit of experience. I didn't mean to, but it happened. Anyway, I need to get these put up pretty much everywhere. As you can see, I only went so far. This one is on for some reason. I assume it's because there's a zombie or something underneath the floor. Yep, there's a zombie under the floor. But that's the last one I have placed. So from here down another 650 blocks, I'm at risk of exploding. Small risk. Just a small one. Alright, let's plop you back in the bag. And get out of cheat mode. Laugh at the slime on the ceiling. And... I do kind of have an idea of something I'm going to do at Distant Shore. I'm thinking of making another dome base there. I know it's not going to be an air base, but I kind of want to set up an apiary lab. That way I can test all my bees and stuff. And pretty much just get a general feel for what those do. Not to mention the other forestry items. In fact, maybe I'll make it a dome tower. Uh, like a tower going upwards instead of downwards with little pods branching off of it. Hmm. Kind of want to get a feel for how that would look. Let's see, we're surrounded by snow. So snow's going to be a problem for a little bit. Until I get 
the glass domes on the pads. I don't think that snow is going to be an issue at all. I'm not, I'm not even sure if snow can form on glass. Hmm. This is a nice view of the ocean. Oh, not even an ocean, it's a lake. Well, that's an ocean. That one's the lake. Hmm. So maybe... Maybe if I were to start constructing it here... Yeah, I could construct it here and have the rail cart come to the base of it where it will be a station of sorts. And then the city will start to be pillared upwards from the station. and probably have a spiral staircase going all the way to the top. And the top dome will, will be something I'll think about at a later date. Yeah, I think I got a general idea of what I'm doing. There's a lot of stuff in the way though. So first order of business will be to clear out this area. Then the next would be to make the tower. After that, the different pads. Then construct the glass domes. And possibly even start making it so villagers are living in the city. That would be a nice change of pace. I don't have any villagers at all. Hmm. This will be an interesting project. But for now, I'm going to actually research a little bit on what... on how to use beehives. Because, honestly, I have no clue how to use them. And away we go. Oh, there's also the spawners I need to collect. And you know, might be curious how exactly I can collect spawners. Well, remember my quarry machine. I can use that to drag the spawners out of the mine shaft and into an area where I could use them. And the spawners will allow me to passively collect viz and taint. Although I think it produces more taint than viz. Oh, hi spider. Um, you yeah, alright? Why are you ignoring me? It's not daylight. Down here anyway, you're in a cave. Ow! <laughs> you, you little jerk! <laughs> uh, flying spider. <laughs> Get up there! Oh, that is funny. Okay. Good leave him alone. He can he can learn to enjoy world hole. Anyways, he can learn to enjoy the benefits of hovering. 
Yeah, we'll just call it that. Huh. Now what? Alright, I'm gonna go and wiki... Go to the forestry wiki so I can actually figure out what it is I'm doing with these apiaries and bees and stuff. And then I'll probably be on my creative world since it'll be easier to experiment there than here. So I'll see you in a moment. Alright, so that was on my creative world and messing around with bees and I've come to the conclusion that bee breeding is kind of tricky so breeding bees is probably going to be an ongoing thing while I'm working on the tower <sighs> hmm as you can see I've started working on a little pathway actually Oops, move my mouse. <laughs> I'm actually probably going to have the rails come down to the main dome area. I think it'd work out okay. Yep. Hi, Mr. Bear. And yeah, I was very busy deforesting the area. Th about that busy. <laughs> I actually broke an axe. something I don't like to do because that's resources going to waste. Not too major, I guess. And that dirt pillar represents where the center of the room is going to be. Just high enough for me to not jump on it. There goes my phone again. Anyway, I'm going to make a dome down here, possibly with side domes. I haven't decided yet. But in the center is going to be a solid spire going straight up. And that's going to be a spiral staircase. And branching off of that is going to be other pods. And at the top is going to be a domed city. And I'll have testificates housing living up in there. And hopefully they'll like it up there. I think I can do it so that they can actually spawn more certificates in and actually fill the city. And it should be safe enough that they won't get attacked by anything. So it's an ambitious project, but it's probably going to look very good. <laughs> Stupid bear. Those wisps are pretty good at f killing things, to be honest. I've seen them take out panthers and lions, bears. Oh dear. Hey, don't do that. I'm just gonna jump right down. Ah! What did you infect me with? There's no indicator. Son of a Son of a gun. Now, I've taken to riding on this railway with this crowbar out because I can instantly break my cart if there's something on the track. That way it won't explode at all. At least until it's all safe. That's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, one thing I've noticed is that any 
any eye. Does not tell me any of the forestry recipes. Except for why well, can you use these things in? But only as See, this isn't even the right bronze, and it's telling me I can use it as that bronze. So yeah, forestry stuff, I have to actually look at the recipe online. Would you shut up? Beat you with a crowbar. <laughs> Gordon Freeman style. Anyway, going to be ending this episode pretty soon here, because we're approaching half an hour. Um, next time you join me, I hopefully will have the tunnel done, at least on that end. Maybe even the dome. Who knows? Depends on how much work I feel like doing. And either I'll be over there working on B stuff, or over here working on B stuff. So until then, I'll see you later. Take care. Bye.